Welcome to Make a Path Presents. My name's Ronnie Hayes, and today, let's talk consequences for Daryl's actions. All right, guys, so Daryl blew up those saviors on the road, and then something else happened, and then something else happened, and I started seeing a pattern that gave me a really juicy conspiracy theory at this point, or some speculation. I don't know, but I was having so much fun speculating this that I decided I'm making a video on it. Okay, so follow me on this. Now, we have the savior that was doing all the talking. We're going to call him the talking head. Uh, no, we're going to call him the underboss. So let's paint a picture now. Negan is the boss, so he's kind of like in his kingdom. He comes out once in a while. You know, he might survey the area. He might see what is going on in the outposts. You know, he, he's doing different things. He's doing big things, so he can't be everywhere. He can't be the guy, you know, on the front lines doing all this shit. That's why he sends crews out. Now, let's say this one guy, the talking head, Negan makes him the underboss. Let's say they're even friends, kind of, sort of, because this guy was doing all the talking. He was up front, and no one else in the crew was saying shit, so clearly this guy had some authority out on the road. So he's the underboss, but Daryl blows him up. So now Negan loses at least one of his underbosses. Maybe this is one of the his closest underbosses. At the same time that Daryl blew him up, and this is something we have not seen, but we're pretty sure, almost positive, they're doing this. At the same time, they actually, a different group of saviors, recaptured Dwight, the guy who robbed Daryl of the crossbow and the motorcycle. So they recaptured Dwight. They're going to take him back. They're going to do the old iron, hint, hint, for the comic book fans. And then later, we're going to see Dwight. But maybe when he does the whole iron stuff, maybe that's when he gets news that his underboss was blown up. Now, another thing to keep in mind, too, and this is something I'm going to have to go back and look at, is the underboss did say, hey, normally we pop one of you uh, right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? Then later, we hear Jesus say, they showed up and they said, well, we'll pop, we pop one of you right off the bat. I have to go back and see the exact words, but they do say that specifically. I'll address that in the Afterthoughts video, and that is coming. I was just so damn busy this week. I couldn't do everything, uh, but that's coming. I'm going to do that tomorrow and get that up for you guys. So stick with me here. So the talking head says, we pop one of you right off the bat. So then at the hilltop, Jesus tells Rick and them that when they showed up, they said that same line. So maybe that underboss is the one that was actually going to the hilltop and talking with them. Now, they did say they killed one of the guys. Either the underboss went, you know, and the underboss did that. The underboss said that. And it would actually match up with how the underboss was acting with Daryl, Sasha, and Abraham in the street. So if the... The underboss goes and says the same thing he said to Daryl and them, then it matches up perfect. Dwight is recaptured, gets the iron, Dar um, Negan finds out that his underboss was blown up, and in the comic, you know, Negan kind of just torments Dwight just to do it out of boredom, just to be, I don't know, that's just something he does, you know? But maybe in the show they flesh it out to where when Dwight gets recaptured and he gets the iron and he Negan gets word that his guy got blown up now he you know in the moment maybe he puts he kind of playfully tortures Dwight uh making him the you know unofficial underboss and then after a while because we do know in the comic a little hint Dwight says he he never stepped down the line after that so maybe that's what happened and then even maybe you know Negan kind of tormenting him as the underboss, maybe it molded into an actual working relationship and that would actually flesh that storyline out pretty damn good between Negan and Dwight. So I'm thinking Dwight robbed Daryl. Dwight will come back as an enemy when we see him next after the iron, post iron, and he's going to remember Daryl. He'll know Daryl. So a lot of fans are talking about, oh, you know, whoop-de-whoop, -whoop, how will he know of Daryl? There's a couple different ways someone couldn't, from the hilltop could have heard it and said, hey, da-da-da-da, like you guys mentioned. Obviously, Dwight, it doesn't take a genius to know that, hey, you guys were in that same area. Those guys got blown up literally a street over from where we were. Most likely it was, you know, <laughs> uh, the guy I robbed in the woods. Uh, now, he did rob him, so how in the hell would he get a bazooka? But Or he could know that it's his people. So it's a stretch, but, you know, there's room to rework that. Anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. That's the nice, juicy speculation I'm thinking about here, how uh, it connects together that leading head, the talking head, the leading savior, saying, normally we pop one of you right off the bat. And then at the hilltop, 
you have Jesus saying, they said we pop you right off the bat. Now, obviously, that's going to be foreshadowing. But if they do that, where Dwight got recaptured at the same time, the underboss gets blown up, that could create the opening for Dwight to become the underboss. And Negan does it as a way to torment him and torture him. From that point on, we can spring off into uh, different story potential, you know, uh, with Dwight and Daryl having some back and forth, or with Daryl actually being in danger now, because he's one that Dwight knows, and Dwight is a prick when he comes back, or at least we're guessing because of the comic. Anyway, I got a couple more speculation vids I want to do, and I got the afterthoughts coming. I have a whole bunch of videos. Sometimes there's like a day will go by where I can't get a video up, but then like yesterday, I posted, you know, one at the night the night before, and then I posted three videos the next day. So um, if you don't see them show up on your, your feed, maybe one of them does, and you, you just watch the one and don't even scroll or search or look or something, you know, but maybe you're not noticing that I posted multiples. Check that out because I actually got a handful of messages most recently that said, holy shit, I didn't even know you made this video. So it never hurts to double check, go through the list, see what videos I made recently, and and give them a watch and never forget to share your thoughts and opinions in that comment box so we can take those and maybe come off come up with um, some more videos to make based on those all right thoughts and opinions down there I'm done talking it's your turn subscribe now